Uh, so now even more. Another story, Republicans and their massive issues with sexuality. Uh, Georgia's GOP chairman, Sue Everhart, she has a dire warning. She says straight people will enter gay marriages if you legalize gay marriage. Oh, God. Uh, let me read you what she says. Quote, you may be as straight as an arrow, and you may have a friend that is as straight as an arrow, Everhart said. Uh, say you had a great job with the government where you had this wonderful health plan. I mean, what would prohibit you from saying that you're gay and y'all get married and still live as separate, but you get all the benefits? I just see so much abuse in this, it's unreal. I believe a husband and wife should be a man and a woman. The benefit should be for a man and a woman. There is no way that this is about equality. To me, it's about a free ride. So wanting equal protection under the law, wanting to have the same laws apply to them, gay people, as uh, straights, that makes gay people want a free ride. <laughs> These guys are unbelievable, man. Look, I'm, I'll, I'll go even further on this here. Even if uh, straight people ended up getting gay married to get the same tax benefits as straight couples, like, I'm, I plan on being single my entire life, for example, right? Um, if I pretended to be gay and got gay married to get tax uh, incentives the same as a straight married couple, so what? Yeah, I said it. Now, here's the thing. Why should the tax code even make a, a determination that's different between married couples and non-married couples? Why am I discriminated against because I'm single? That seems like discrimination to me, right? Why shouldn't I get the same tax benefits as a married couple? It's just a lifestyle choice. Why are you inherently saying with the tax system that the choice that they made is superior to my choice? No, it makes no sense whatsoever. And furthermore, no, they're not going to do that, you dumb schmuck. I, I can't, man. I can't deal with these Republicans. It's the blood pressure again. The blood pressure is going up. Look, you have no basis which you can say that from. If you said, hey, Kyle, look, I got this study here that was done wherever, a, a different place where they legalize gay marriage, and 36% uh, uh, fraud rate is occurring. Okay, well, then you have an empirical basis to say it. But they don't have that. They just make it up. So why are you saying it? They're a different breed of human, man. Yeah, I said it. They're a different breed of human. They don't feel as if they, their claims can be empirically verified or empirically tested. They just say shit. And they just say it as if it is fact. And they just say, and they shift the burden of proof and say, well, you, now you have to prove me wrong. Well, no, you didn't make your case. You still got a much higher burden of proof to me. You just said something. It's like you had verbal diarrhea and then expected everybody to take it seriously. 